Bad luck and extreme misfortune will haunt your pathetic soul for all of eternity. How important was playing with your look? I mean, I'm looking at your very dramatic necklace right now. <laughs> it's like a giant beetle sort of reaching for the moon or something. <laughs> it's wild. We saw you in some like crazy concoction some weeks. You were wearing one thing that looked like a distressed wedding dress with a leather vest one week and you had the painted black outfit with the boots. You definitely seem a little daring in that department. You get a girl like me and you give her this opportunity. Here's a budget. Here's a stylist. Here's a hairstylist and makeup artist. They'll make all your dreams come true. Just ask. Okay. And I, and I ran with it. I'm mm -hmm. like, well, hell yeah, I can, I, you mean I can have this, really? It was like everything I ever dreamed of getting to try. I wasn't gonna just wear something boring and like normal people wear, right. yuck. It might have been crazy, I might be, oh, that crazy girl with her tutu, but you know, I've always kind of been that crazy girl with her tutu, and now I was that on TV. And sometimes with something that Simon Cowell thought was a leaf. The leaves distracted me on the close-ups. <laughs> I'm down with leaves too. Yeah. I'm from New England. I loved your comment about him that week. You had said something to one of our reporters backstage and you're like, for a guy that wears the same V-neck every week, he has a lot to say well, about my fashion. He does, and sometimes I just wish that he would give me more feedback about my singing because mm -hmm. he would focus so much on my my weird outfits, yeah. and I understand. Maybe it was distracting, maybe sometimes it was too much, but for him, not for me. I get in the zone, and when I get in those outfits, it helps me perform because I feel great mm -hmm. in them. I feel like myself times 10. You had said that week that you were inspired by like Fern Gully or something. Were you being serious? The butterfly? Yeah. I hadn't thought about it until one of my favorite people I've met through this process, Zan, who works for 19 Entertainment, I think it was him who said, you're like Fern Gully. And I was like, <laughs> I love Fern Gully. Are they butterflies? Yeah. Yeah. He's still a little confused. Clearly. Especially because I became that guy, the contestant that everything people say to me is like a movie reference or mm -hmm. a cartoon reference. Probably 99.8% .8 of the time, no one has any clue what I'm talking about, but that's okay. I just, that's how my brain works. And so someone will be like, oh, there's a fortune cookie. Fortune cookies. Oh, that's just like that episode of Rocko's Modern Life where Philbert gets the fortune cookie. What's yours say, Phil? Bad luck and extreme misfortune will haunt your pathetic soul for all of eternity. Come on, Phil, what's it say? Oh, nothing. And I get that look like, Okay, and you don't remember that? Let me see. It doesn't say anything. Plus two does not. Plus two does not. I think that people should know about Rocko's Modern Life. Mm -hmm. This just me. Hey, let go! Ow! You're trying to make a federal case of me, you idiot! 